So different yet so similar. That may be the best description of the GTX 970 when compared to the two year younger RX 570. Apart from the price at release, where the 970 has doubled the one of the RX 570, not much is different between these two on the basic spec side, apart from the higher shader count of the 570. But as they both use different technologies there, this may be only a difference on paper. So with a lot of similarities between these two, let's check out if modern games can set them apart in terms of performance. First up is AC Valhalla. Not one of the most recent games, but obviously the most recent in the AC series. So at 1080p using the medium settings, the two cards can't really be separated, offering same average FPS with the 570 giving in return just a bit better percentile figures. But overall, they are performing more or less like the same GPU here, with both of them leaving you some room to use higher settings. In Far Cry 6, while using the high preset, both cards deliver an average of over 60 FPS, with the 570 taking a small win here of 3 more FPS on average, and overall the more stable experience. It should be noted that while testing the 970, the benchmark was using 3 more gigs of RAM than it was when the 570 was running it. So that's something to consider, I do have 16 gigs of RAM, so it even had some more unused RAM left over. For someone who has less than that amount, it could give you pretty different results, so you should definitely keep that in mind. In the Mafia remake, using the maximum preset available at 1080p, although the 570 gets a bit better average FPS, the 970 gets the win in the percentile figures this time around. Obviously, both deliver perfectly playable FPS, with yet again very similar result, as it was the case so far during the benchmarks. In Days Gone, I was quite surprised when both of these cards handled the very high preset with ease. Once again, the 570 gets just a few frames more on average, with the 970 delivering better percentile figures. So whichever card you are using, Days Gone will look excellent and run almost the same in both instances. Moving on to a very recent title with Dying Light 2, not really shining with the performance on either of these GPUs. But we finally have a clear winner now, with the 570 getting 10 FPS more on average, with the frame rate mostly at around 40. Of course, it's quite hard to benchmark open world games and do the exact same thing twice, but I gave my best to do exactly that, and the experience was much better with the RX 570. The 970 did drop under 30 FPS in a few occasions, so it's definitely not that well optimized for this game, at least not as good as the 570 is. Another very popular PC release of recent times certainly was the Uncharted port. So if you want a decent 60fps experience on the 570, 1080p with all the settings turned all the way down will give you 67fps on average. The 970 on the other hand hovers in the region of 50-60fps, to but fails to deliver a 60fps experience, giving in return around 10fps less than the 570. Overall, they both deliver excellent performance, but the 570 seems once again like the better optimized card for Uncharted. Which does make sense, after all, it's a bit more than 2 years younger when compared to the 970. Small wins or big differences? It doesn't really matter, the win is a win, and the 570 won in 4 out of the 6 games tested, while in the other 2, the FPS was so similar that it can be considered a tie. The 970 didn't really underperform, as in many games, although the averages weren't better than the 570s, it fought back with excellent percentile figures. But despite all the power it once had, it does really begin to show its age when compared to the 570, which actually was a mid-range card back in 2017, and the 970 was considered on the higher end back in 2015. At the end, the 570 is just a much better GPU when compared to the 970. It's a more modern GPU and should outlast the 970 when it comes to driver support and optimization for newer titles. So as they are priced quite similarly on the used market, I would go for the 570. Or better yet, an 8GB 580, as the price difference isn't really a huge one, but the 580 is a better GPU than both of these. 
Thank you very much for watching and consider subscribing to the channel as there will certainly be more hardware reviews in the near future.